Hello friends please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the videos. Thank you for your support. Along with the pair SUV and Alaska pickup, Fisker also revealed its range topping Super EV, the Ronin, with Fisker CEO Henrik Fisker revealing to Auto Express a price tag of around $385,000, 302,000 pounds. Named after the film with its famous car chase, the Fisker Ronin is set to arrive at the end of 2025 and is the first car to come out of Fisker's Magic Works division based in the UK and under the guidance of former Aston Martin man David King. The low-slung four-door, five-seater, convertible all-electric sports car is expected to have over 1,000 bhp, with its trimotor, four-wheel drive setup getting the car from 0 to 60 miles per hour in around two seconds, according to Fisker. Yet in spite of that level of performance, Fisker is aiming for class leading range. We want to offer around 600 miles of range, he said, enough to get you from Paris to Saint-Tropez in one go, this is a luxury GT. The efficiency comes from a new construction method with an integrated battery pack that incorporates the cells into the structure of the body. There's no word yet on battery capacity, though. The low-slung bodywork has a hint of Fisker karma from Henrik Fisker's ill-fated 90s startup, about it with its long, low bonnet that's punctuated by sculpted wheel arches on each side housing a oversized wheels. The doors open in a butterfly style, with Fisker claiming it'll be the easiest convertible to get into, while the hardtop convertible uses a carbon fiber roof. The design features new Fisker styling cues that will filter down to the rest of the range, while it'll become a showcase for the brand's technologies, too. Fisker hasn't decided where the car will be built yet, but with the development work being carried out in Banbury in the UK, Fisker didn't rule out manufacture in the UK, too. If we get the right group, we could, he said. We're going to go out and talk to suppliers who will potentially build it after the summer. It'll be hand-built and we're talking less than 1,000 units.